Hi guys, Bar and Beer. Every news got a beer here. Hidden by the light. Hidden by the city light. Not light. I mean, there's multiple lights in cities, I have to assume, but just the city light. Hidden by the city light by Single Cup Beer Smiths from um, New York. New York? Is it Estonia, New York? Or New York? Um, let's see, what is it? Uh, it's from New York City, but I'm not sure. New York, anyway. I can't see where it's at. Where it's from. Singlecut.com. No, they are from Astoria. Okay, Astoria, New York. And then this is a strange thing. I don't even know the style, but I'm assuming it's a milkshake IPA. Now, it's 9.7 alcohol by volume. Nice session strength. Could be higher. But it's hidden by the City Light Pastry Stout. Oh, cool. There you go. Because I know uh, uh, there is a couple newly released uh, milkshake IPAs, this being one of them. So I was reading the thing real quick. Because this has been brought to me so thank you and we were gonna crack it open and I just got home from work so I can't read English and <clears throat> here we are crack it open and I, I put tape over the camera so I could lean it down without it falling because I am a hobo and this is what it looks like so we're gonna blow it a little oh yep there it is now, if it's a pastry style, I wish it was 19.2. That would be better. But look at that. Nice 16 finger head. That's nice. Nine, yeah, if it was 19.7, it would be better. So, we'll just put about that much in there. Top it up a bit. Oh, you're roguing it up already. Yeah. Feel me I can see a little bit of a rind of a... Ruby Hue at the pinnacle of glass, but not too much. A big 16 finger cat K colored head right there. Not too much anything else going through this glass. Now, the ingredients are, let me check it out so I can show you what it is. And tasting notes, kind of, you might assume tasting notes from this, but the ingredients are as follows with rainbow crumb cake, almonds, pastries, chocolate, vanilla, or almonds, raspberry, chocolate, vanilla, milk, sugar, and cinnamon. So just in case they didn't add anything, it's all there. So, ta-da! All right, so let's get a, try to get an aroma through this pillow head. Raspberry for sure. It's kind of cutting through everything. Earthy raspberry and a hint of cinnamon, but everything else is being just complete and bombarded by this raspberry. There's a soft roast under there, but I'm telling you what, that raspberry is just covering everything. Soft roast, soft cinnamon, and, and the raspberry. But there, there is a little bit of a sweetness of the vanilla wafting through, so let's just check it out. Cheers. That's nice. It's not overbearing with the raspberry. They're, um... Ooh, almost like a raspberry sherbet almost kind of quality because it has that kind of a, a mixes with the vanilla in there. It reminds me a hint of a raspberry sherbet. Tell you what though, for an imperial style, it's garbage because it's not a huge, big, lovely imperial style. But it's a nice base beer for this uh, showcasing of those, those flavors. Almost like a Neapolitan ice cream kind of a vibe there with that. Instead of a strawberry, more of a raspberry kind of character. Um, extremely drinkable, a bit thin. It's on that medium body area. Um, I, I didn't know exactly what to expect. I'm not really getting pulling a lot of cinnamon. There's a little earthiness in the back of the palate. It could be that. You get a lot of nutty, a little nuttiness, a little, a, little, a, little, a little nuttiness anyway with a lot of different things uh, in, the, in the spirit, the stout quality, especially the pure stout. So there is a little nuttiness, but I wouldn't pinpoint almond from this. There's a nice little oiliness to it. That nice big thick head that I poured adds a creaminess to it. Fucking what I can. Um, now there is some nice lacing added to this one as well. I will say though, it's a little bit meh 
It's okay. It's a good beer. It's not bombastic. It's not kicking me in the face. It's not throwing me around, making things happen, especially for an imperial style over 8.5%. 8, 8. Um, it's a, I tell you what, this is a crushing. This is a crusher, a 9.7% crusher. Um, fruity, fruited beer, fruited stout. I guess you really want to throw it in that category. Uh, is it good? Yes. Is it as advertised? Kind of. Kind of. You know, it's kind of like a, like I said, it's kind of like a raspberry sherbet near Paulton kind of ice cream kind of a, a thing with a little bit of chocolate roasted toast in the back of it. Um, the thing that I like about it is it is 9.7. Even though it tastes like very many, many like versions, because I've had some of those um, different Neapolitan stouts and stuff like that, where it does, it is five percent, and, and you can tell it's five percent. This one is in that kind of tells at five percent, but it is nine point seven. So it, it, the drinkability is stupid, but I just wish it had more, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna give it an as advertised, right on the right on the nose. Overall, I'm going to give it a 7.5. I know it seems low, but I want to give it a very solid as advertised score because that's what I'm getting from this. And, uh, you know, hidden by the city light. Well, maybe back by there is more, a little bit more flavor and characteristic hidden under there. Maybe look a little, you know, look back to the next one. There's more than one light in the city. Um, so, you just back by the hookers, there might be some flavor. Anyway, um, single cut, yeah. All right. With Comfort Land, uh, I'm assuming they make the, the donuts or the pastry. So, anyway, uh, I mean, give it a go. Let me know your thoughts and opinions with Paul Bay Brunus. Cheers. Watch that finger. Here it comes. Bye bye. Woo.